everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sword and Shield Blind Let's Play. In the last episode, as you can see here, we entered the second gym of the game here in Holberry Town and faced off against Nessa, the water-type gym leader, and swept it clean all thanks to our starter, Molly, who is now a thwacky. And in this episode, I don't know what we're doing. Oleana's probably going to tell us as we leave the gym, and she tells us we need to head to the seafood restaurant at the captain's table and meet with Chairman Rose and see what he wants from us. So... We won't forget to Sharon's face. He's going to give us one. She's going to give us his lead card. I am exhausted. This is episode 11 in a row. <laughs> My throat's dead, but I'm loving the game, and we're going to power through. I got some more water. H2O, we just fought Nessa. Need some liquids. I didn't think I had any water in the house. I got a 24 pack in the car, but I didn't want to go out and get it. It's Ohio, and it's November. It is cold. So, but I found... Some water in the fridge, and we're ready to rock, we're ready to roll, we're ready to go on a phenomenal stroll to the captain's table. Because we are going to go to a new area today with new Pokemon. Imagine seeing something today that could be on our final team. I have no idea. Look at these weirdos. They're staring in there trying to get Rose's autograph. I wonder what his backstory is. I'm super excited to find out. All right, please. Maybe that's not an odd no. <laughs> Is it? I'm excited to find out. Welcome to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. Sonia. <laughs> Dude, I absolutely love that girl. She's awesome. Chroma, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, you were invited too? You do know each other? That's great. Come now. Please be seated. Why is he out of business with Sonia? What if he kidnaps her? Dude, that would be messed up. And he's got his glasses on. He looks up to no good. Holberry is a seafood town. Naturally, if one's going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of the Wishing Stone, the Wishing Stars, and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to cre create Dynamax bands without her. <sighs> she was saying there's still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her some worry. She even made me take the Power Spot Detector with me when I started traveling. Power Spot Detector. That's the device that allowed me to discover the Power Spots. Locations that emit Galar particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried, though. If only there were something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit the Bolton Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it is time we get going, Chairman. But I've hardly had a chance to speak with Chroma. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to get done, there's no time like the present, after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. Dude, she's in a hurry so much for some reason. Does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for info, but... You got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Nessa's no small feat. Here's a TM for a reward. Sonya gives me retaliate. Dude, she's awesome. She just seems so... Chill, like awesome, like a cool friend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, she gave me retaliate. She's great. Ness is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Jim Challenger. I hope I get to fight her at some point. I mean, maybe not. She's she's too cool to battle, obviously. They have no customers. Is this all because of that dude? He has some power. It's pretty in here. What what are you? Dude, it makes freaky noises. Like what if it's actually not? No. Oh, no. I don't want to fight him. <laughs> yeah, we're both headed for Moto Stoke and the fire gym leader, Kabu. How about I share a little tip about leader Kabu? From what I heard, he's holed up now in Galar Mine number two, undergoing some special training. If he's in there, then we can't take him on a Moto Stoke, even if we zip right over, putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we head to Galar Mine number two ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. So I guess this is where you would find Sableye or Mawile. Not at the other one. That was my guess, but I didn't know there was a second mine. So I say we head over to the mine right now, and I bet you find Karkul there too, like more commonly. That makes a lot more sense because you could find him at the other one, but like, who knows? You just might have missed it like I did. Well, I had noticed it, but you know, I didn't really get it. I didn't put two and two together. But that's actually pretty sweet because, like, makes you think, what other interesting Pokemon have I missed 
that are in kind of obvious places. I don't know. Anyways, Galar Mine, number two. Please. Oh, okay. Something just ran off, and it... Look how tiny that shell loss is in the top left, because it was just now spawning. I don't want to fight Bead yet. No. I'm not ready. I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokemon battle. Yeah, hold on a minute. I got no time to deal with pathetic trainers. You're holding on a minute, though. <laughs> right? Oh, Binacle! That's sick! Binacle's in the game! I have such a special connection to Binacle because of the one I've used on the channel before. Anything? Choodle! My God's always Choodle, dude! I can't... Dude, I love the design, but he's so common. There's so... There's gotta be something else that they could have put in the water. Absolutely disgraceful. Krogunk's here, too, which is pretty sweet. There was that thing that ran away. I gotta get to it. Oh, I saw a Noibat run off. Uh, another freaking Choodle. Dude, I've had enough. <laughs> like, actually. He would be cool if Dreadnought evolved, but I just feel like Dreadnought's too... Right. Yeah, Noibat. Dreadnought's just too... Basic. Like, it's a, it feels like a middle form, not like a final evolution. That's just my problem with it. Oh, it was a Wimpod. Ah, okay. That's what I saw run off. Please, something other than a Magic Carp or a frickin' Choodle. Bro, I've had enough. I've had enough. Like, there's gotta be something cool here. With the fire gym coming up, I need something like a water type. I have nothing really to fight against fire types right now. Well, I mean, I have a rock type, but I'm also. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I'm also weak to rock, but they're not rock. All right, we'll do one more fishies. Krogunk's like on the pursuit. You see this guy? No, you're not getting me. I'm fishing. Give me something. They're gotta be something else. Am I just getting, like, wildly unlucky or something? There has got to be another Pokemon in this spot. Also, this area looks gorgeous, by the way. This mine looks sick. Alright. What's up, Wimpod? He's gone now. He disappeared. Okay. Please. Last time. I know that gives the game liberty to give me another Choodle. Okay, Barboach is something. It's not what I was expecting, but it's something. And that's cool. Whiskash is in the game. I like Whiskash. And I'm easily going to bop this thing. Like, no question about it. Four times effective, you're done. And that could give somebody XP to evolve. Allowing me to add something else into the team. Nobody's close. That's fine. Let's just fight Bead. I don't know who to do it with, but... He's got all Psychic types. No, not Pokedex. I don't need the Pokedex right now. Why does it recommend me to catch Magic? I'll probably do that later. Like, after I've beaten the game. You guys don't need to watch me catch things that aren't new. Alright, Potter. He's got Psychic types. Let's fight Bead. If you're under the misguided impression you're stronger than me, you'll be up for a battle. Yeah, of course. It's utterly inconceivable that I, the challenger chosen by the chairman, will lose. Time for our second rival battle against Pokemon Trainer Bead. Here in the Galar Mine number two. Let's do this. And he has four Pokemon this time. First up is his Solosis. All right, let's go for it, Potter. I know you can do it. All right, let's see if all four Pokemon are still Psychic type. He had three last time, and they were all Psychic. All right, Potter, Struggle Bug. Hit this thing as hard as you can. And that's it for Solosis. Nice work, Potter. It was a crit, too. Great work, buddy. All right, three to go. What's going to be next? Oh, looks like you've grown a bit. Only a little bit. I'm just doing the same thing I did to you last time, pretty much, bud. Next up's got Vita. All right, same as the first. Basically the same as Slosis. Level 22 in a Psychic type. We're going to hit it hard with a Struggle Bug. And that's... He's got coverage. 
That's interesting. But Rock Tomb on a Gothita? You couldn't have something better than that? Uh, it's, it's still cool to see. I like that he's got coverage. He's... He's interesting for a rival. Whoa! Competitive! That's interesting. His special attack is plus one now. I might pay for that right now, actually. Nah, we're good. Goodbye. I forgot I'm part psychic type. <laughs> You're done. Oh, I wonder if he has one of these now, actually. That wouldn't be... I wonder if he has the evolution. I have no idea. We're about to find out. Oh, he's got Galarian Ponyta. Okay. Galarian Ponyta. Look at it. We'll also get to see where they're found, because I haven't run into one quite yet. Um, I don't know what type it is, but I think it's a Psychic Fairy type. And that probably confirms for me that it is with that Fairy win. Struggle Bug! It's gonna do neutral damage, though. No, it's not. I guess it's just a Psychic type? Until it evolves? Maybe? I don't know. It's interesting, though, that he's a Psychic Trainer like that. It's different, having a rival that's, like, stuck on one type. I like that quite a bit. Alright, that's it for Ponyta. Next up is going to be his ace. And I wonder if Hatena has evolved yet. Molly and Patty grew a level. Cool to see. Patty going to learn anything? Not quite. No, it's still Hatena. All right, we should be able to do that all with Potter. Excellent. Not everyone can corner a team. He's starting to grow on me a little bit. He's starting to be not quite a dick. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, anticipation. Made us shudder. Doesn't matter. It's not every day I get to battle you. So I suppose I may, well, may as well try out this move. Psybe. Okay, that's probably gonna KO. Alright, I'm a psychic type. I keep forgetting. I don't feel like a psychic type. Yeah. I wonder why he doesn't have a potter. <laughs> you know, a dotler. Because it just seems like something you have. It's a pretty good psychic type. The strongest psychic type I've come across so far. We gonna live? Yeah, we're good. See you later, Atena. We did it all with Potter. Absolutely good. Glad to see you. See you later, B. All right. I'd like to try a mono lock of this game. I think that could be interesting because the wide variety of Pokemon you come across seems to like be super overpowered. I don't know. Maybe I'm just having a pretty good time with it so far. I don't know. Ah, pardon me. It seems I must take back my words. You're not weak. You just lack talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you try. Dude, he's so good. I love the jerk rival in him. He's really good at it. Like, he's just perfect at being kind of, like, a dick, you know? Anyways. Aw, Shuckle's sick. Galarian Shuckle would have been so cool. Anyways. What if it evolves into, like, Galarian Shuckle? I don't know. It's possible. What did he give me? Oh, his card, right. Let's go ahead and check out Bede's League card. See what he's all about. All right. Bede. 908. Uh, select it. All right. Bede spent some time living in an orphanage after his family ran into some trouble when he was young. He always had difficulty getting along with others and would constantly get into fights. That is until one day Chairman Rose visited the facility and Rose gave Bede a Pokemon, which changed Bede's life forever. He showed talent as a trainer and threw himself into Pokemon battles, becoming stronger by the day. He has joined the gym challenge with an endorsement from the chairman himself, and Bede plans to prove that the chairman's faith was not misplaced. Aw, of course he'd have some sort of sad story. Why you gotta do that to me? Why? Alright, let's catch Pokemon. Give me a Galarian form in the water. Can you do that for me? It's gonna be a... Yes. Yeah. A Choodle. <laughs> There's so many choodle. You know, that's fine. I don't need... No, you gotta be kidding me. You bug me and then knock my potter out? Please. Good. Okay. Potter's gonna take a little bit of a rest now. Pretty close to leveling up and evolving. Hopefully. I don't know. What if potter evolves in here, right? Like, by leveling up inside this place? Um... Sure. Karishma. Let's do it. Oh my god! A Galarian Stun Fisk! That's so awesome! I've never been happier! Like, oh my god! That's so cool! Please be something I could use. It's weak to fire. 
What is it? Is it steel? Oh my goodness. A Galarian stun fist. Are you kidding? I love Stunfisk. Stunfisk is getting some love. Oh my god. I'm stoked. But I gotta get out of here. Um. I don't know what Molly could do here. Galarian Stunfisk. I love it. It's so unique. It is a steel type, probably. Okay, um, let's knock off. See what that's going to do. Sucker Punch. What if it's Dark Steel? That'd be sweet. Oh, man. Galarian Stunfisk. All right, I can't weaken this too well. Let's throw Great Balls and hope for the best. Nah, didn't think so. This thing's going to be tough to catch. But Sucker Punch is going to fail when we throw balls. So I say let's keep hammering it down with some Great Balls. Oh, this thing's gonna be tough to catch. Um. Hmm. I don't know. This is a really interesting design. It's like a bear trap. I like that a lot. Poor little Stunfisk Pancake. Uh, let's throw... A net ball at it. I don't know. I know it's not a bug or water type, but maybe. Got it. Maybe it is a bug or water type. I don't know. All right, we got a Galarian Stunfisk. That's going to get Crenshaw to level 26, Potter to 24, and McLovin to 23. All right. All right. Galarian Stunfisk is a ground steel type. I that was going to be a guess. All right. Those conspicuous lips lure prey in as it lies in wait in the mud. When prey gets close, Stunfisk clamps its jagged steel fins down on them. What do I name it? I don't know. Huh. <laughs> I've got nothing. Oh, I want to give it some good thought, but I don't know yet. Um, Galarian Stunfisk. It's like a metal press. Bear trap. I'm gonna name him Bear for now. I got nothing better. I might change the names if I end up using something. Give it some more thought, but I want to go on the spot here. Let's check out Bear Summary. Um, Mimicry changes the Pokemon type depending on the terrain. Wow. Really interesting. A Galarian Stunfisk. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and send him to the PC for now. I don't think I'm going to use him, but that's really cool. I'm so excited. All right, let's see what's here. Maybe this fishing spot gives me something new. I'm just getting baited into fishing over and over again, only to find a stupid choodle or a barboach now. Ah, but hey, a Galarian Stunfisk, I can't complain. That's sick. I'm so glad to see Pokemon like Stunfisk get love. I'm so glad. Thank you so much, Game Freak. Pokemon that get laughed at and nobody ever wants to use. That's so cool that they're finally going to get attention. I'm over the moon about it, really. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up camp. Can I do that here? Yes, I can. All right, I need to set up camp. My boys are beat. Oh, look at him. She's so special. Aw. Aw, dude. The apple guy is sick. You want attention, do you? Here, I play with you. Where you go? <laughs> I play with you. Nobody want to play? I play with you. Yeah, you want to play with me? Karincha play? Aw, dude, I love Karkul. Oh, got me. I love it. 
What are you doing? You got that toy? You get that toy? You going to get toy? <laughs> I love it. Absolutely insane. All right, let's go ahead and do some cooking. Let's just throw in some ingredients randomly. Um, I guess we'll pick the key ingredient as the fancy apple. And then let's like throw like four cherry berries in. Two Pecha berries. Two Persum berries. A Lapa berry. And an orange berry. And let's throw it together. Let's see what happens, right? I don't know what it'll make. Hopefully it'll make something we haven't made yet. Um, the fanning the flames part is weird. You just spam it as quickly as you can. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the case. It just looks like it doesn't do as well unless you, like, pace it. But spamming it seems to be the best. I think. Yep. And we stir it. Stirring it's harder with how the Joy-Con it feels. Like, it doesn't feel as smooth to me. But let me know what you guys are thinking of the curry. I like this quite a bit. I think it's a cool concept. I'm definitely wanting to fill out the curry decks and the living decks and all that. Definitely something I want to do again, especially on a new game. I think it's going to be fun. And do that. Put the heart in it. I think that's how that works. And we have a new curry dish. Hopefully this heals everybody up because that's what I'm really going for right now. And everybody's excited. Look, they're all going to eat. You cited? Spicy apple curry. I think we already made that one. Aw, I love Karkul. Karkul likes it. All right, spicy happy cur apple curry. It was a new one. Millstery class. Pokemon's HP was restored. Yep, everything's good. Krishma and the rest of the party got friendly toward you. Glad to see it. All right, we're done here for now. Uh, I wonder if the purple guy evolves from uh, happiness. I could see that. All right, let's fight with, uh, yeah, Corinthia sounds good. Let's fight this guy. I wonder if he has a Galarian Stunfisk. I mean, it's, I've noticed a lot of the trainers have the Pokemon you find in the area, but right after. Oh, he has a Karkle. Okay. Well, Karkle versus Karkle. We're about to find out how that goes, because I'm guessing that the gym leader probably has a Karkle, or maybe has a Karkle evolution. Lots of things that could happen. I kind of want to trade Karkle Grincha to see if that's how you evolve, but I'm also worried that if that's not how you evolve and it's happiness, then we're in a bad shape because, you know, that would be bad because we would reset the happiness. Uh, probably going to be outsped now, but didn't do very much damage. Didn't do any with the leftovers. Um, we're five levels higher. Maybe we'll still outspeed. Yeah, I didn't think so. And it's going to hit me with an ancient power. All right. It doesn't have Rock Blast, because that's a TM. I probably should have used Ancient Power to begin with, but oh well. It's fine. That's going to be it for this guy. I don't think he has any more Pokemon. And hopefully there's another new Pokemon inside this cave. There's probably been some new Pokemon that I've just completely skipped over on accident. All right, Patty hit level 22. Is this the level that Patty evolves at? No, it's not. Patty hasn't learned any moves either. Interesting. And three Dust Balls. Everything inside me wants... Yeah, I have to fish. Like, there's an off chance I find a cool water type that I don't know about yet. I've got to go for it. Like, I need water types. Just a Barboach. I don't want Barboach. I know what Barboach is. There could be Galarian Whiskash. Unlikely, but... I hope that there's no Galarian forms where the pre-evolution's not Galarian. Kind of like in Alola, how they did that with something. I don't remember... I see the stun disc. I'm not going to get got. I am going to avoid him. Oh, there's two of them. Look, they're just on the floor. All right. Oh, hey, there's a Gastrodon in the water. Look at that. Imagine if that was shiny. Wouldn't you just be so disappointed? Hey, Corfish. That's new, I suppose. We haven't found one outside of the wild area, and it's definitely not via fishing, so... I'm glad to see something that's not Choodle for once. Like, it's just so boring seeing the same thing over and over again. All right, we're going to avoid you for a second. Because I kind of want to see if there's more Pokemon. A Grip Claw! Interesting. Good to get. Um, there's another. All right, there's Team Meow. I'll fight this girl really quick. And we'll do it with Grookster. Uh, Molly. Let's do that. Right, let's put Molly up front. I was hoping... 
we would be able to evolve our bug by now. But Potter still not evolved. Maybe it's level 30. Like 10 and 30. I mean, I'm not going to give a hope yet. All right, we got a rock and roll. I'm glad I put Molly up front. Rock type. Grass beats rock. Let's get it done. And Molly's close to evolving too. Like in 10 levels, which would be really awesome. Getting to see our final evolution for our starter here. I'm thinking of maybe getting Sword. Um, like since I've got both of them right here, I'm thinking of maybe playing through Sword in my off time as I as my personal playthrough and picking Score Bunny. That way I can see all the evolutions without it. I mean, actually, I might see the evolutions from Leon now that I think about it. Either way, it'd be cool to do that because then I could see Score Bunny's evolutions through evolving instead of just seeing them some other way. It's a consideration I have because I want to bust this series out, obviously, but I don't want to. Um, like, obviously, I'm going to be taking breaks and stuff and from talking and be able to catch up my own personal playthrough would be cool. The only other issue I have with that is um, I, I kind of want to know all the new Pokemon and know everything. That way I can build my perfect favorite six that I'd love to play with for my second playthrough. So that's something I'll probably do. I don't really care if I see Score Bunny's evolution at this point. It'll be fine. And I'll be able to build better teams around it because I'll know what type it is and all of that. And there might be a fire type I like better, so I don't know. All right, let's fight Team Yell, I guess, because it looks like that's going to be next up on the agenda. Let's do it with Potter, because Potter beats Dark. Let's do it. Hey, there's a Shuckle over there. Imagine if that Shuckle was blue. I'm going to stop. I, I do that a lot. I can't help it. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. One of them taking on the gym challenge, right? Crikey, but that's really something. I love a battle against a great trainer like you. Well, look at you, Homa. Let's hop again. Surrounded by adoring fans. He he'll even be showing up Lee pretty soon. Oi, jog on, mate. Can you see him in the middle of a conversation? Uh, yeah, hops. You know, part of this, too. Look, they're like all fans of me, but then they're like, hop. You, who are you? Beat it. <laughs> all right, yeah, we'll go ahead and double down. We'll fight against these two. Multi-battle again. I wonder if they have anything new we're going to see. Maybe we'll see Galarian Linoon now that we're above level 20. I could see that being a thing. Feeble and... Linoon, yeah. Awesome. Cool. That's kind of what I would have guessed. And Wooloo still has not evolved. That's concerning. Um, I guess we'll Struggle Bug. It's going to hit them both. Not the best in the world, but hopefully Wooloo will help out. Oh. Night Slash. I didn't think about that. Yeah, Galarian Linoon's going to be tough. Oh, yeah, Potter's done. Wow. They did massive damage to us. This is actually a tough fight. Well, I guess if you lead with a Psychic type, right? Yeah, go ahead and double kick that Feeble. And hopefully the Struggle Bug, it's not going to knock it out from there. Not being split and minus special attack. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Oh, we crit the Linoon. No? Yeah, we did. I thought so. We did way too much damage to that Linoon to not have been a critical hit. And we lowered their special attack. All right, we're going to switch now. Hopefully they don't pursue us. And let's do Patty. Patty going to get ended, huh? Yeah, Patty's got, like, no good moves. Patty's not ready to fight yet. Um, I guess let's go Karincha. Why not? And see what they're going to do. I love how Team Yell's bop into their music, too. Like, yeah, let's walk. You know, I like that. I don't mind Team Yell so far. They're kind of stupid. Not much backstory to them quite yet, but we don't know all of it. Dang, these guys are doing a lot of damage. Lowering our special attack a lot, too. This is like an actual tough fight. This could be something really scary in a Nuzlocke, like the first one. Especially if you're leading with stuff with special attacks. And Hop is not really that good, so... That's probably got a lot to do with it. All right, Grincha, let's go Ancient Power. Uh, let's Flame Charge the Lightning. I think that's probably my best bet. Oh, Baby Doll Eyes. They lower Special Attack and Attack. This is actually a really rough fight. Yeah, they cleared Wooloo. They've lowered my Attack and Special Attack. This isn't looking very good. Uh, hopefully Hop Starter can come out here. Or hopefully we can at least take out the Linoon. Yeah, we did. All right, that's good to see. We got some speed out of it. Um, we probably will be okay here. But this is actually kind of tough. Level 27 for Molly and Karincha. And we want to learn Incinerate. Has the move been buffed? It has been. Uh, 60 power special now. 
Um, no, I don't want to give up on that. Um, it's not bad. That's tough. I can always reteach Rock Blast. Ah, that's tough. Having a special attacking fire type attack's not bad. I can reteach Rock Blast. It's pretty risky considering um, it's like pretty inaccurate. So, I'll teach Incinerate for now. It's a cool attack now that it's been buffed. And it can also burn berries, which is nice. And maybe one of these Pokemon are going to hold berries. Was that the Grunt? Yeah, they have another Pokemon. All right, Corvus Squire can help us out with that Pancham. And what scares me, though, is Grinch is going to get ended by that Pancham. Hopefully, um, Corvus Squire attacks that Pancham for us because it's, you know, super effective. And I wasn't able to end people off, unfortunately. All right, Pluck. Good. And you didn't do it. I probably should have used Flame Charge on Pan Jam now that I'm thinking about it. This is actually the first difficult battle. Yeah, Grinch is done. That's going to KO for sure. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's like one of my only really strong Pokemon. This is actually picking up. Okay, I'm liking to see it. Hopefully this isn't like a fluke. Hopefully the fights from here on out are pretty rough. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and use Magical Leaf then on Thiebel. Yeah, and then Corva Squire can take out the Pan Jam. Okay, I wonder what type uh, Corva Squire is. Normal flying, maybe? Or maybe just flying still, I don't know. I'll have to check. I know I checked when ours evolved, but I don't remember. And I know Corviknight becomes Steel Flying, so I'm curious. Alright. Anybody gonna evolve after this? I don't know. Oh, still got a Liper. Okay, these guys are not a joke. Um, I guess we'll Screech, just in case I outspeed. And then the Corviknight, the Corvus Squire can finish it off. Yeah, that's minus two defense, and whatever Corvus Squire uses, this thing's as good as done. I feel like that's my best combo move right here. Yeah, Pluck will definitely clear it after that. Wow, I'm surprised. <laughs> These guys were tough for, for being five levels lower than us. Four really powerful Pokemon, especially that line noon. I think it was pretty strong. All right, level 23 for Patty, 24 for McLovin. Please let McLovin evolve already. I'm so done. Like, I, he's just taking up a spot on the team. I just want to see what it evolves into. Yeah, there we go. Level 24. And we finally get to see what this rodent evolves into. McLovin is evolving. Oh my god. I like that. Greedin. I like that a lot. That was really cool. I like him. I love that design. That's really cool. What type is it? Normal. Okay. Um, common throughout the Galar region, this Pokemon has strong teeth and can chew through the toughest of berry shells. I like him a lot. Why is it just a normal type? <laughs> oh, well, once to learn something. Covet. That's cool. We can steal stuff very easily with that. Um, not that I don't have Thief earlier on, but I'll get rid of Stockpiles. Not a Nuzlocke. I'm never going to use that. And I'm not going to use him anyways. I'll put him in the PC. I want to re evolves again. It's very unlikely, but I guess we can check the Pokedex and find out. Well, possibly, anyways. This little mug's the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. I know we're Team Yell, but we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. Is that true? They go quiet once they lose? Nice one, Chroma. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's further. All right, let's go ahead and check the Pokedex really quick. I want to check first off... Oh, there's a Dreadnought over there. First of all, I want to check Corva Squire, and I want to check this guy, too. He looks like a McLovin, too, which is super funny to me. All right, Bogodex. Um, Greedent could evolve again. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? All right, what's Corva Squire? Just flying. Okay. Greedent could literally evolve again. I'm going to go ahead and guess no, but you never know. It's possible. But let's go ahead and go into the PC really quick. I am not going to use Greedon anymore. And I would like to start working on leveling up somebody else. Like Dama, maybe. Um, Cheris, I definitely want to evolve. Uh, Patty as well. Patty's somebody that I could definitely see myself using. 
Um, and then, let's see. Wow, I have no idea who I want to use. Brandon, I, I'm probably going to see the evolution through uh, Hop. So, I guess Howie. Let's do Howie for a little bit. For now, I can always switch Howie out for something I actually want to use. Should we run into something? There's a Dreadnought. Cool to see. I've seen too many of its pre-evolutions. So I don't really have an interest. And a Wimpod pops out of the ground. Okay. Not interested in Wimpod, obviously. It's, it's an older Pokemon. But it's cool to see Glycopods in the game. Alright. And did everybody get healed up, too? Oh, I can't run away. Are you joking? You're a Wimp. Pod, really? Just let me run. Thank you. All right. I just don't want to be damaged, especially after being healed. Dude, Dreadnought looks like it wants to charge. Aw, he's so cute. He's with his dad. You see him? Aw, Shuckle. I love it. All right, let's go around Shuckle. Like, let's not step on a stun fist either. A bag of soft sand. That's cool. I like how they put, like, the fixtures, like... Instead of just soft sand, it's a bag of soft sand. That's like a neat little touch to me. The little things, you know, that'll make you happy about a video game. Please, anything but a choodle. It's a corfish. I mean, I asked for anything but a choodle, so. Like, really, what, what else would have it been? Corfish, Barboach, Magikarp. I haven't found Magikarp here, though, which is nice. Also, let's put somebody faster up front, because I'm not going to worry about running away. I'm not having that. Put Molly up front. Molly always can run away, it seems. All right. Don't step on a stun fisk. There's a TM over there. I just stepped on a stun fisk. Oh, well. I can run away from it. Unless it doesn't let you run away. That'd be interesting if it had, like, Arena Trap as its other ability. It doesn't. It could, but this one didn't. Okay. I'm going to check this fishing spot. I sound like a broken record. Please. The fishing has been horrific so far. Like, there's nothing good. No items. Nothing good. It's just Magikarp, Barboach, Corefish. It's really disappointing fishing spots, for sure. Maybe I'm just getting insanely unlucky, but that's kind of unfortunate. All right, let's go get that TM, fight that trainer. I don't think there's anything down here that I'm going to want. Nah, there's top. So that's the end, most likely. I didn't run into a Shuckle either, but... All right, I was going to try and avoid him, try and maneuver it. Not that I would have, I would have still gone back, but... Rail Staff Vincent. That's an interesting trainer class. And he has a Drillbird. All right, with a Dusk Ball, too. That's cool. I like that the Pokeballs change for trainers, too. I know that was a thing in Sun and Moon, but... Still cool to see. I wonder if he has a new Pokemon. He's got another one in his arsenal. I wonder, maybe it's a Stunfisk. That would be kind of funny because he works on the rail. I could see him catching one while he's here. Who went Onyx? Okay. We'll fight Onyx. Yeah, I can easily take this thing down unless it has Sturdy. Please have Rockhead. Make my time easy. It does have Rockhead. And it's dead. So, <laughs> it should add Sturdy. You would have gotten a tack off. Vincent Delpino. And it's level 16 for Howie. Please evolve, Howie? I doubt it, because, like, Sonya having a level 16 or lower um, Yamper would be kind of disappointing. You know what I mean? And why is Sandtomb a TM? The TMs are super interesting. They're not the greatest. Maybe they're good for, like, competitive scenarios. Like, maybe there's something interesting, right? Look at that car cold just in the middle. Oh, it's going to be Kabu's ace. No. Maybe that means car cold doesn't evolve. Yeah. Unforgivable to get in the way of a car cold hard at work. I'm disappointed. What if car cold doesn't evolve? It's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire type gym leader. All right, number 187. Ah, you're the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hop and Chroma, am I right? I'm just training right up until the last moment so I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you in gym challenges. I specialize in fire-type Pokemon and the water Pokemon in the Galar Mine number two. 
are perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of this mine, you'll reach Moto Stoke. Get a good rest at the hotel and make sure you're both in your top condition. Come on, Karkle. Time for you to head on home, too. I'll make sure you get there safely. I wonder if that's his Karkle. Because it doesn't sound like his Pokemon based on how he's talking. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll find out. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said there's a lot of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm getting all fired up. Really? Kabu's that good? People just fail to beat him? Is that a thing? Whatever. Stop at the Budu drop in for the night. I will. I'll remember to do that. That's cool. Out of two mines are on each side. That Karkle from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. You do know Poke jobs. I do. I don't want to do it. All right. So we should go to the Budu Inn for sleep. I guess that's something we have to do then. Whoa! A load of knocked out. Pseudo Udo. I love Pseudo Udo, dude. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Cool to see it made the cut. All right. Three great balls. Let's find a Pokemon. What route are we on? We're on Motostoke Outskirts. So this is a new area. Um, new Pokemon? Nah, it's just a Krogunk. I mean, we gotta do more than just one encounter, you know? It's very possible there's more Pokemon than just a Krogunk, Pseudo Udo, and Noctowl. Although, Pseudo Udo is super cool. I wish there was a Galarian Pseudo Udo. That would have been so cool. Rock and roll up. All right. There's gotta be something in these grass that's new. There has to be. There wouldn't be a completely new area with no new Pokemon. That's a load of crap. Guaranteed. Give me something. Krogunk. I don't want it. <laughs> I love Krogunk, by the way. I'd love to use a Toxic Krogunk. Especially this early on. That's sick. There's so many cool Pokemon early on. All right. Next area. We're going to go over to this grass. No, I didn't want to fight you yet. I'm disappointed. Well, fine. I guess I will battle you. Maria. Carolyn. Madame. Carolyn. A Yamper. All right. I was hoping maybe Yamper would evolve. You know, like, get to see Yamper's evolution. That way I could just put Howie away. All right, we'll magically fit. We're five levels higher than it. Hopefully we one-shot it. Yeah, not quite. It was a crit, too. Bruh. Oh, and it's roaring me. Is this our first time we see Toxel? Nah, Howie came out. That's, like, the worst-case scenario. Howie, can you do this? I don't know if you can. Howie outsped. Oh, it's using Roar. That's right. Well, I guess Howie gets to kill it then. That's cool. Um, get a little bit of happiness in case you do level up and evolve by happiness. Molly hit level 28 in the process. And next up's a Swoobat. Oh my god. It's a Swoobat. Oh, that's funny. Oh man. I worry about running into Swoobat so much during my Nuzlocke challenges. And this girl actually has a Swoobat. I could totally see myself crapping myself if this was a Nuzlocke right now. Alright, well, Ancient Power. I forgot I got rid of Rock Blast. An air cutter shouldn't do too much to me. We resist that. Karicha can use ancient power. We one shot in it. I didn't think so. They're pretty strong. Some sort of like psychic type attack probably would have done a good amount of damage to me. I probably should have led with flame charge. That way the next one would have outsped. Nah, nah, I wouldn't have outsped this. This is way too quick. Swoobat's fast. That's the thing. They're very scary because of that. All right. That's it for Swoobat. And Howie hit level 17. Maybe Howie's got some happiness. Maybe Howie evolves via happiness. Not quite. What is that? Is that? Yeah, that's a tenor. That's what I thought. Awesome. This is where you find that thing. All right, Molly, let's catch ourselves a Hatena. I love it. Anticipation. Do I want one without it? I don't really care at this point. I might not find another one. Um, let's hit it with knockoff. What if it has an item, though? Then it probably will kill it. Bruh. I'm sad. <laughs> I shouldn't have used knockoff. What if I can't find another one? I'll be so sad. Bro. No, it's a Sudowoodo. No, it's a Krogon. Okay. Well. 
I might not be able to find another antenna very easily. I couldn't find um, that bug on Route 3 at all. I spent forever. There's the amulet coin. Like, what if these Pokemon are just super rare? No. <laughs> I had to knock it out. I need to buy Quick Balls. Whenever that's a thing, I need to buy a lot of them. Because we've got a lot of money. And not very many Pokeballs that I would want to throw in the first turn. Alright. Hatena at least appeared in the overworld. Meaning that's probably the best bet. Alright. Is he a trainer? Yeah, okay. I'll go around him right now, then. Oh, I forgot we have the bite. By the way. Oh, coughing! This is what I meant by Pokemon that don't have Galarian forms, but they evolve into something. Um, they've confirmed Galarian Weezing, but coughing doesn't have a form. That's unfortunate. Um, I'll just try and catch a Galarian wheezing down the line. I'm not gonna bother with coughing. But that does stink, because, like, how are you supposed to know? Like, there could be Pokemon here. Like, Noctowl could evolve. Unlikely, but you never know. Ah, uh, man. Alright, what's this? A bottle of Pipia. Cool. Please. Hatena. I can't believe I've done this. I knocked it out. I'm so mad. I might never see it again. There has to be another one. Rock and Rolla. I gotta catch it, you know? Like, it might evolve into something that I would want to use. I mean, we'll find it out. Right? By bead in the future. So I guess I can give up. We don't need one. That's fine. Alright, let's fight this guy. With... Potter. Nah. Karincha. I don't know. I feel like he's gonna have a Growlithe. And I'm also... I wouldn't be surprised if there was Galarian Arcanine. Which I was thinking of testing out by catching that Growlithe earlier on in the game and using Firestone on it right away because I had one. But I don't know. It's, it would be a waste of a Firestone if it doesn't have a Galarian form. And I have no way of knowing until the future. Or without trying, I guess. So I could have saved, I guess, and then shut it off. But I don't want to do that. We'll see a Galarian Arcanine in the future if there is one. I don't think there's going to be one. But that's it for Officer Raymond. And he did have a Growlithe. Was I right or was I right? All right. On the bike. Let's get through here and get some wings. A clever feather. Are they not wings anymore? Are they feathers? I didn't even notice that. Yeah, they're not wings. Yeah, they're just feathers. Yeah. The pretty feather's new. You sell that one. All right. Motostoke again. Um, what do you have to say? Pokeballs, great balls. Pokeball guy, you the ball guy again? Yeah, you're not gonna give me nothing. I already got what I needed from you. That's right. Um, I guess before we end off the episode, let's go back to Route Three now that it's nighttime. Maybe that bug will show up that I never ended up finding. Right? Like, who knows? You find it on this route. It said on the Pokedex. But I was never... Maybe it was nighttime when I was here last. I don't know. But I really wanted that bug. And I never was able to find it. What is that? Okay. I don't know why that thing that Corpus Squire is there, but... Alright, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, I saw so many Rookadees while I was here trying to find that bug. Makes me sad. I guess we can check the tree again, because that was my theory. Is it comes out of the tree, which is possible. You know, bugs would be in trees, but I couldn't recheck it because the berries hadn't respawned. The berries still have not respawned. Okay, back to the Motostoke, I think. 
and we'll call it a day there. I guess we'll go in the uh, the inn first, though, because I think there might be a cutscene there. That would make sense because they told us we had to go there. Yeah, in this place, the Badoo Inn. Anything special here? Yeah, Marnie. Oh, cool. We get to see her again and see what she's all about. I love her little Pikachu. I don't know what it's called, but I love that thing. Oh, Challenger Chroma, right? I'm giving it her all, even this late. Hey, help with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Oh, uh, really? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that one, dude. Show me your fighting spirit. All right, we will, lady, but in the next episode. So we get to have our first battle against Marnie next time, which is really awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, do not forget to crush that like button for me. It helps out such a great deal. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of all future uploads for this series and the channel as a whole. And in the next episode, we're going to be facing off against Marnie for the first time. And even facing off against the third gym challenge of this adventure, perhaps against that guy. I don't remember his name. We'll figure it out in due time. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.